So are you ready to fill our Advent bag with Advent embellishments? Hey everyone, Kristen Som here. And now that we have our Advent bag, we are ready to make the Advent items. So there's a lot of them, um, but my goal is to get them all in four hoopings if we can. That's my goal, we'll see. So there are 11 Advent um, little embellishments. There are three lace ornaments that are also Advent items, but there I'm gonna do them separately. Um, and then there's these, um, the hooks thing, type of thing that we're gonna put on each ornament. So my goal, like I said, is four hoopings, we'll see. So all of these we will need, um, it's a good idea to have them separated um, by project and we'll go over each one of them. You are going to want wash away stabilizer for sure. All right, this is what we will use in our hoop. So it's not that um, water soluble stabilizer, that's a different item, that's a topping. This is the wash away stabilizer and it's thicker and it works for in the hoop. All right, it's here, this is what it looks like. And it works great for items that you want to see the front and the back. And then we also will use some medium tear away. I only have the big one of this, but that will still work. Um, but medium weight tear away will do on one of the items. Everything else we will use the wash away stabilizer. All right, so um, like I said, my goal is to get it all in four hoopings. I'm not totally sure that I can do that, but um, I will bring you over to the computer and show you what we can merge together and how to make everything fit, depending on your hoop size, of course. Um, but oh my gosh, we're almost at the end. Are you so excited? I can't wait. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. We have been working on this project for 10 and a half weeks, 10 and a half weeks. That's a long time for one project. And really, this is our biggest project ever. I mean, I'll tell you, when the book came, this big, thick book, I was like a little intimidated, right? A little like, oh boy. <laughs> but we are now on the last step. So we have done great. I'm so proud of everyone. I've loved seeing all the photos of everything that you guys have been working on it block by block. It's been so much fun together. So let's finish up. And a quick thank you to everyone that has uh, put in a class donation. That is so nice of you. I really appreciate it. These little um, notes for our cup of chair quilt have been quite the hit. I'm, I'm very thankful for all the kind comments. Aren't you just dying to see what's inside of them? <laughs> so here's some information on that if you didn't catch yesterday's video. So I made a little something and I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. It's pretty cool. So, you know, in our, um, in our presence, we have a little something that we put inside of there in the houses. We have, um, an area to add a little note, pretty fun. So I did something a little bit different and for everyone that made a class donation during the time of this project, I am going to send you that. So you just have to um, give me your email address um, when you do a PayPal or Venmo donation for the Christian Creates YouTube channel. So see, I made the little notes, but I made them on cardstock paper and um, and roll them up and I put them on um, fabric. On, there's fabric on the back of them. So on each of these, I have something, I'm just gonna put them in the embellishment bag so that I don't have to make a note every year. They are pretty darn cute. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I made extras, like this isn't supposed to be there, but I had extras, so I put it in. Um, but anyway, I thought these were pretty fun. So everyone that made a class donation, I wanna send this to you. Um, and I will show you one of them. I'm not going to show you all because I want them to be a surprise. Let's see. There's one for pretty much every little opening. So like even on the, on the mitten, there's one. And um, there's a little something that goes with each of the notes. So I'll show you. So here is the tan house. And from the window, we've got this little... Um, this little area for a note. So here's my note. I've got it with 
green fabric on the backing and look at how cute they are so look at it's a tan house so it tells you which where it goes and then it says always do your best so that's just on this one um, like I said there's a whole bunch of them and I made them so that I can just keep these forever and not have to make a little note each time um, you can print them out and just put them in. You could print them out each year if you wanted to, or you can back them with fabric like I did just because I thought that was a really cute idea. Um, so I did it on a few different fabrics so that I have some variation on them. So here where we can tie a candy cane or a little candy, I, I made a note for those for anyone that wants to have a little note on there. But anyway, I just thought it was a pretty fun idea. Pretty cute. Um, so anyway, I will um, add a link under the video if you choose you want to make a um, donation to the Christian Creates channel. We certainly appreciate it. It makes it easier to buy all of the video editing software and the equipment needed for the channel. And um, I'm just very appreciative. But anyway, totally optional. But there's one for every little um, opening that there is and they all fit really well. So like this one... <laughs> I had to make a really little one because um, I didn't want it covering the number. So I, I think I thought of pretty much everything. I'm, I'm just loving this idea. I thought it was really fun. So anyway, um, just wanted to show you some fun ideas of things that I am doing for my quilt. So now I'm going to get on to the rest of this project. I'm excited. We're pretty much finishing it up. Hopefully there's still more. There's a label to do and um the bag and all of the embellishments still so still some more to do but it's really coming along and oh my gosh so cute so fun <laughs>
Okay, so now we're gonna work on the hook and loop dots. So it's a very interesting way of doing them. So we are going to um, stitch out the placement stitches and then one by one, one by one, and I'll show you, we'll go through it one by one, but we'll take our packet for say the bow, okay? And we will take the felt that's in there and the one little piece of um, hook or loop, whichever one it is, I don't recall off the top of my head, but anyway, you'll see, we'll go through it step by step. And then once we get that um, Velcro added on, we'll put it back in our bag and then do the next one. So one by one, and what we'll do is we'll tear it off of here um, once we have that one adhered and go on to the next one. So don't worry, we're gonna go through it all step by step, but it's an interesting process. Okay, after you um, stitch down the, uh, the hard rough side of the Velcro, you just pull that one piece off carefully so that you're not ripping your entire stabilizer, but just that one piece, and that's easy. And then make sure and put this back in your bag.
Okay, are you getting excited? I'm really getting excited. We're really close to the end. So we made um, our first hooping of these uh, little uh, embellishments, not advent items, embellishments. And then we prepared all of our fabrics with the little dots on there on the backing. So now it's time to do all of the actual embellishments. So two hoopings for that. And then we'll have one hooping of the uh, lace, the, the, what's it called? Lace. I don't know. Anyway, um, so three more hoopings and a bunch of stuff to sew on. And then we're going to be done, done with cup of chair. I'm so excited. And those little notes are already on my quilt and I'm loving that. So, so much fun. Oh my gosh, this project is coming to a close. <laughs>
right, so after the first part of the Advent stockings is done, you're going to turn your hoop over to the back. And one at a time, I have mine set up as one at a time for the, the stockings, um, you're just going to put your back felt directly over, you can see it through the wash away stabilizer and line it up and then tape in place. Tape on the corners.
All right, everyone, for the heart, once we have finished with the applique and the number, we're going to turn the hoop over to the back, and we're going to place our back felt, lining it up with our um, front felt. That's easy enough. And then what, what I find the easiest to do, because we're going to add the pocket here, so what I think is the easiest is to just line up this um, this first piece of felt, lining it up with these little notches here on either side. All right, if we just fold this to that spot and then finger press it, and then we open it up and we have that little crease there, and we're gonna take the pocket felt and line it up with that crease. That's the easiest way I think of to be able to get um, to get it lined up on those little notches there. All right, and then once you have that, we are going to tape the entire length of the um, the pocket so that it does the foot won't catch on it, and of course tape the corners in place. All right, this is to add the back fabric, felt, the back felt, and the pocket. All right.
Well, this huge, beautiful project is done. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I love everything about this quilt. It is so beautifully done. Oh my gosh, I just am so loving it. All the little embellishments, I'll tell you, they take time. <laughs> just be prepared. My hands were so sore with all of the cutting and um, it, it makes it really incredible. In fact, a friend came over um, a few days before I finished it and she goes, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And it was hanging on my wall um, just because I wanted it out of the way while I worked on the embellishments. And I'm like, you're not, it's not even done yet. You haven't even seen. <laughs> there are so many elements to this. It is just absolutely beautiful. All of the things that they thought of. I can't believe it. It's so cute. So share a photo as soon as you finish your quilt. I can't wait to see it. So much fun. And I'm going to show you one of those note cards that I made because it's not on my quilt. I, there were a bunch of extras and so I put my extras in my bag. So I'm just going to show you one that I haven't used yet. So it's a cute little card with the fabric on the back and it says you are brave with a cute little um, wreath on it. Isn't that fun? So the extras can go in like the little presents. They can go in um, anywhere that there's an open spot, which there's several extra spots. So I made some extras just in case, but pretty fun. So I have to show you my shirt today because I really like this one. I've been waiting all winter to be able to wear this. So uh, it was a design that um, somebody in our group sent me a link saying, oh, you got to get this. And, and I was like, oh, of course I have to. So I bought it. I think it was Tattered Stitches. I will add a link under the video, but I added some bling to it. And the coolest thing is that we added um, a little personalization. So using our Umbrilliance Essentials, look at how easily you can manipulate the wording to have it go around the wheel. I thought that was so cool. So mine says Kristen creates and then the enjoy the journey. That was part of the design that already was included um, with the bike. And like I said, I think it's tattered stitches, but really cute design. So you know me, enjoy the journey, right? I'm big on that. So I got a little emotional when I tried to talk to you about it before, but I just want to say like there is just so much to be grateful for and we are so lucky to be having fun with these projects and there's so much going on in the world. Like, oh my gosh, I've had four friends that their husbands passed away recently and, and just devastating, right? Big, big stuff, big medical stuff. A lot of people have had big medical stuff, even in our own group, just our group. Um, I get messages from people that have gone through what I went through this year. So a lot of big stuff. And so much to learn and to grow and to experience because of these things that we're going through. And so anyway, I'm not going to get too much into it again, but enjoy the journey, right?